Lately, I've been working more with monitoring and logging and similar types of tools. And eventually, I got bored by installing all of them separately. You know, you need to have a Prometheus and it comes with Alert Manager. And I might want Loki for logging, logging storage and Promptail to ship those logs to Loki and so on and so forth. And after all that, I still needed to set up a few dashboards and that's all time consuming. So I decided to simplify all that in a way that everybody in my organization or in other organizations can get all the monitoring tools connected together in a meaningful way and ready to be used. Now, if you're following Crossplane, if you're following this channel, you already know about compositions. You know that we can use Crossplane compositions to wrap together different resources, to connect them all into something meaningful and expose those compositions to end users as services. And that's precisely what I did with monitoring tools and what I am going to feature in this video. It's going to be a short but very effective one. Before we proceed, you should know that there is a gist with all the commands, both those that I executed before this demo as setup stage and those that I'm about to execute now. So if you want to follow along, if you want to reproduce what I'm doing, the link to the gist is in the description together with all the other videos that I'm referencing and I'm not going to go deep into, but you should be familiar with. So let's say that I'm a developer and I need a cluster and I already created a cluster. If you're not familiar how to create clusters, you should be because there is a link to the video in the description. I'm not going to go into details how to create clusters with Crossplane. Instead, I'm going to show you how to do the second step or the third step, depending on how you count and set up the monitoring inside that cluster and by monitoring i mean both monitoring and logging so here's the claim that i created it's in examples monitoring uh what is the name uh, from lucky here we are right so i created a new composite resource definition that contains a claim and this is the claim that says monitoring claim right now why that name because i was too uncreative to figure out a better name for my claims and if you're not familiar with claims again the link is in the description how to create uh, compositions and claims with crossplane i will not go into details what does matter is that here among all the different combinations that i created within my compositions i as developer am choosing to use those through matching labels, I'm saying, hey, I want to monitor with Prometheus, I want alerting to be alert manager, I want dashboard to be Grafana, and I want logs to be stored in Loki, and they will be automatically shipped to Loki with Promptail, right? I could have other combinations depending on how many different monitoring needs you have in your organization, but in this case, this one should work. And then I have parameters to fine tune different aspects of my monitoring uh, stack. And in this case, all I really, really need is to specify what are the addresses through which I should be able to access the tools that I'm about to set up. And I'm saying, hey, the monitoring host is going to be monitor something something and alerts are going to be through alert dot uh, some domain and dashboard will be this one. So essentially, I'm ignoring all the complexity of setting up all those tools and connecting them and creating dashboards for everything I need and so on and so forth. And I'm just saying, hey, this is the address through which I want this combination here specified as labels to be accessible. So how do I do that? Uh, normally I should use GitOps, right? I should push this to a Git repository and then Argo CD or Flux would synchronize this with my cluster. And I have a video about that as well, but today I'm making it easy. I'm ignoring the fact that you should do everything through GitOps and I'm going to apply directly by executing kubectl uh, dash dash namespace. I want this to be in monitoring namespace and I want to apply something specified in the file examples monitoring from locky.yaml, right? That's about it. That's all I need to do. And again, I'm repeating, you shouldn't be doing this. You should be pushing it to Git, but I was too lazy to set up Argo CD. Now, as a developer, all I have to do to see the status of that something, of that call stuck, is to say, hey, in the namespace monitoring, I want to get monitoring uh, claims, right? That's the definition that I just applied to my cluster. And I can see that those are the hosts the same ones as I specified, and it's already ready. It's already ready to be used. And as an operator, I might want to see more details, and I would probably say something like namespace monitoring get everything 
and uh, everything in Kubernetes is not really everything so I'm going to specify ingresses separately and I want to see the config maps and I want to see the secrets and there we are right this is everything that my composition created there are quite a few config maps and secrets and ingresses and replica sets and stateful sets and deployments and the things that majority of people do not care because let's face it developers just want to develop their applications they want to deploy their applications and they want to see the status of their applications so as a operator i would probably want to see prometheus in action and uh, let's say that would be the address monitor.ingress host.nip.io and this is the address that I specified earlier and I can open it in browser here we are this is Prometheus I'm not going to go into depth what is Prometheus if you don't know it then you should uh, what does matter is that Prometheus is up and running alert manager should be there as well let me just open it uh, where are you alert I think that's how I called it there we go alert manager which in this case I did not yet set alerts I should do that I should include alerts into the composition uh, that was really embarrassing I should have done that nevertheless uh, that's what it is alert manager but for majority of people what really matters is dashboard dashboard there we are and this is Grafana right I can now log in and use already baked in dashboard right i included the dashboards into this composition and the user is admin and the password is in a secret so i'm going to copy and paste this i should make this easier as well there's so much to do but the secret is this one right uh, the password which is stored in the secret i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to paste it into the browser and here we go right uh, there's my Grafana and it already comes with uh, at least one dashboard baked in. I should put more. It says Prometheus cluster. As you can see the health of my cluster and what's going on and so on and so forth. I should create custom dashboards for whatever are my specific needs. But again, I did not do that. I just wanted to show you how you could do it because you should create your own compositions instead of me creating compositions for you. And uh, we can do explore and I can say, hey, uh, for Loki, uh, I can through Loki actually I can see logs of my applications. I can say, hey, uh, whenever there is an application and something with the label app and let's say crossplane, and then I want to see the logs, no matter where that something is running in a cluster. Uh, this has been running for much less than uh, one hour, let's say 15 minutes. And here we are, the, these are the logs that match that specific label. I can now filter the logs in any way I want. They're all being streamed into Loki from any part of my cluster, no matter how big the cluster is. And that's about it. That's how easy it is for the end user to use something without really knowing all the details. Because details are an implementation detail hidden into the composition. And finally, before I leave you, let me show you here there we are. This is the directory with the files that I defined. This is my crossplane manifest. This is the definition, the open API definition of the new custom resource definitions that were created by crossplane. And this is the implementation from Loki, which uh, if I open here from Loki, you will see this is very specified. Everything needed to run all those things with all the details and so on and so forth. But all those things are hidden from end users because we are exposing only the things they need this was a quick one thank you so much for watching hey and let me know in the comments what else would you like to see in relation to crossplane it can be anything just let me know what i should work on next from now on i accept uh, requests so let me know what can i help you with in relation to crossplane in this channel and uh, i'll do my best to do it thank you so much for watching see you next time cheers